it's time for Rockport High School Basketball here on WZOT. And now, all of the action. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Chattooga High School. Jeff Sharp, Chris Wolf, bringing you the uh, semifinal game of the girls' region tournament as our Lady Jackets will be taking on the Lady Wolverines of Dade County. And Lady Jackets come in as the two seed in the region tournament. And they'll be playing the three seed Dade County Lady Wolverines as they defeated our Murchie 44 27 on Tuesday here at Chattooga. As all the games have taken place here, as the uh, girls were, the Chattooga girls were 13 and 1 in region play. We were 12 and 2. And so they, uh, they got to host the region tournament. And, uh, of course, the Lady Jack is led by the juniors, Kiara Berry and Megan Little, as Kiara is averaging 30.7 points a game. And Megan Little, her average just, just keeps climbing. She's at 12.5 points a game. Yes, yeah, she's definitely turned it on the last few weeks, and that three-point uh, shot's looking good out of her. And see the crowd starting to pile in, all the Rockmont folks getting settled in here. Yeah, our people are trying to figure out which side which to go to. to so, uh, looks like we're sitting here in the uh, basketball end zone <laughs> right here around the door. And uh, so we we got a yeah, good we're shot. We're in the south end zone here. So we're, uh, we got a good shot of the floor. We're not at our normal uh, half-court spot. They tried to put us there. and <laughs> that, didn't last last. Yeah, that didn't last long. One of the ladies, uh, she did not like that at all. So we, now, we went. more arena-style uh, gymnasium i guess you would call it yeah i'll tell you what some comfortable seats up there too for you if you're a fan and a lot of seats there as uh earlier the chattooga lady indians defeated the gordon central lady warriors 58 55 so chattooga has moved on to the championship game and gordon central will be in the consolation game tomorrow at four so uh they uh of course we were supposed to be here last night and because of the weather last night and a lot of flooding up here in this area, they moved them to tonight. And uh, now, uh, later tonight, they've got the threat of snow up here. But I'm sure by the time we play, <laughs> the first game tips at 4 o'clock tomorrow, we'll be all right, ready yeah, to go. It should be around 50 degrees or so, so should be no issue. But Lady Jackets come in 18-6, and 12-2 and two in region play, and the last two times they've played Dade County, uh, they have beat them 48-32 and 42-23. But, Chris, you know as well as I do, hard to beat somebody three times in a season. Yeah, it is. And, you know, you, you typically never want to play anybody three times, especially if you if you beat them the first two. So, yeah, I, I look for everything to, to stay as normal for us as uh, Karen and, and Megan do their thing. When And uh, the other three that are in there at the time, you know, they'll contribute to their part and, you know, Honestly, I'd, I'd like to see us get out early and, and have a big first and second period there and, you know, not not be lagging behind or, or at least keeping it close. So Yeah, and I'll tell you, early in the season, the first quarter, you know, we would typically get off to a very slow start. Uh, but then here lately, they've uh, it's kind of reverse roles where we've yeah. gotten out to a quick start in the first quarter and then the second quarter, uh, we kind of slacked off there, but then we always had a big second half to uh, either to extend or... the lead or even to come from behind as the Lady Jackets have won uh, seven in a row now as, since the last time they were up here at Chattooga. And, uh, uh, you know, that that was their last loss was right here. So, uh, and, and typically, you know, especially on the boys' side, we don't play very well up here at Chattooga. Yeah, there's always hurt. strange things that happen up here, weather, no matter what sport it is. Well, the weather is definitely strange. So, <laughs> you know, hopefully we can counteract that on the on the basketball court and, you know, change our change our look up here. Oh, there's a lot of red and black up here. Yes, there is. <laughs> yes, there is. Uh, and I'll tell you what, the last two times we played Day County, they are combined three for 42 from the three-point line. That's 7% in those two games. And talking with former Lady Jackets coach Tim Puckett today at school, and he was talking about Day County how if they're shooting the three, they're tough to beat. But whenever they're not, uh, they're just as liable to get blown out, which is kind of what's happened as we have beat them by 16 and 19 in the two previous games. 
Uh, Day County plays really good defense as well as uh, only the Lady Jackets have better defense. So good to see Bo Peak in the house. <laughs> so how are you tonight? Little Bo Peak. <laughs> so, he's, get, he's getting ready for the game two. So Bo's getting ready for game two tonight. So uh, he, he's going to be on. Uh, he'll, he'll be on our side for one of them, and then he'll, of course, he'll be supporting his son in that second one. Yeah, so he, they, he's always good to swap back and forth. So I can't blame him there. No, and our son just just signed to go to play football there at um, I'm trying to think um, where it was now. Just a lot NAIA school. Yeah, and it's, I yeah, uh, you got me there too. I so, had it, man. I lost it. But. All right. Good so, basketball player and football player. So. Yes, without a doubt. So, Kiara Berry, co-player of the year with Gordon Central's Mercedes Coleman. Uh, of course, uh, last year, a uh, controversial vote as well as Mercedes Coleman was the right region player of the year, and Kiara was first-team all-region. This year, they are co-players of the year. And uh, Megan Little, first-team all-region with those 12.5 points a game. And we don't want to forget our two seniors, Ambria Daniels and Emma Evans, as Emma comes in averaging four and a half points a game, over seven rebounds and two and a half steals. Ambria Daniels averaging two points a game and over six rebounds to go right along with Kiara, who leads the team with almost nine rebounds and uh, and nearly five steals in the game. But, uh, of course, uh, Megan Little, she's been hot from that three-point line here lately and been scoring a lot of points herself. So yeah. those four... Uh, along with Brandy Jones, I'm sure that'll be our starting five uh, coming up as we're down to a minute. And, Brian, we don't have to worry about a national anthem tonight. They did that before the 4 o'clock game. But we are going to take 60 seconds and thank some of our sponsors, Blue Moon and A-Plus Storage, Family Savings Credit Union, Chick-fil-A and Lewis Motors, just to name a few. And don't forget, all of our free throws are sponsored by RW Laundry at 804 West Elm Street. We'll be back in 60 seconds with the starting lineups. WZOT Rockmark, W270CE Rome. Hi, folks. This is your old buddy Bill Sherpsey, GM of All Star Motors Rockmark. It's that time. It's tax time. The friendly staff at All Star is ready and willing to serve you. Good, bad, or even no credit, no problem. Your job is your credit. We do offer guaranteed credit approval. Check out our online credit approval at www.allstarmotorco.com. We even have an on-site insurance agent. We're not just your run-of-the-mill fly-by-night dealership. We're All-Star Motors, where every day is an all-star day. Remember, we have that unforgettable number, 770-684-CARS. Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. Now back to the action of Rockmart High School Basketball here on WZOT. All right, we're back at Chattooga High School. We want to thank you for joining us tonight as the Lady Jackets preparing to take on the Lady Wolverines of Dade County. And right after this game, the boys will be taking on the Model Blue Devils in the semifinal game of the region tournament. And 45, Cammy counts. So... Chris will start lineup for Dade County. Yep, that'd be uh, number two, Jada Wood. Number 12, Caitlin Monday. Number 13, Megan Shower. Number 22, Tori Williams. And number 45, Kimmy Count. And then the starters for the Lady Jackets, Brandy Jones is the first one announced there. So they go along with the four that we had mentioned before. Yep, that'd be number 10, Brandy Jones. Number 11, Megan Little. Number 21, Kiara Berry. Number 22, Andrea Daniels. And number 32, Emma Evans. So we know the Lady Jack is going to have to keep up that defense as they're allowing 45 points a game, scoring 53. Day County comes in scoring 49, allowing 40. Uh, but the two games, we've, uh, we have uh, beat them average-wise 45 to 28 and kept them to 18% shooting from field goal range. And like we said, 3 of 42 
from the three-point line as Kiara Berry is going to tip it off with Tori Williams. And we're getting ready to go. Our three-man crew is ready. And the ball's up. Kiara wins it, tips it back to Megan Little, just like we've seen so many times in the yeah. past. Not many girls are going to be able to beat that match up with Kiara. All right. Little gets it over on the left side. And with me facing this way, I'm going to have to remember which side's left and right here. <laughs> so they are shooting. If you're looking at the goal, we're shooting to the goal to our right as Ambria Daniels puts up a shot and is partially blocked. Rebounded by Dave County as Megan Shower, three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Jones. She gets it ahead, throws it out of bounds as she tried to hit the air on the side. And that's going to be a turnover. Goes to the Lady Wolverine. Counts gets it into Wood. So Jada Wood, Caitlin Monday, Megan Shower, Tori Williams, Cammie Counts on the floor. Three-pointer by Monday, no good. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nobody touched it. So he's Rockmart's ball on the side. And Rockmart will be coming right at us here in this first half. Yes, yeah, sir. Big different look for, for us. So Little gets it over to Jones on the left side. Emma Evans, top of the key. Pierre has camped out right at that free throw line that we've seen so often. And they are double teaming her. And a pass to Williams, uh, Evans, she has to run it down and it goes out of bounds. So that's another turnover by the Lady Jackets. And we've only uh, really attempted one shot as Dade County's attempted two three pointers and missed both of them. Dade County is all over the ball right now. We can't seem to get the ball inside to Kiera. 2-3 zone for Frontmark. Counts has it down in the left corner. Kicks it out to Williams. She dribbles top of the key over to the right side. Three ball by Wood. Short. Rebounded by Jones. She gives it up to Megan Little. Going to bring it down the floor. Kiera's out. And she's Right now she's guarded by Megan Shower. And there's a... Sh- Shot blocked by Wood as Megan Little put up a shot and rebounded by Williams. So it looks like uh, Dave County playing a box and one on Kiara. Yeah. As Shower go, tries to go around Evans on the baseline, gives it up to Williams. Three ball by Tory Williams, no good. Rebounded by Jones. And then she passes it off to Little. I didn't, the referee had me blocked. I thought it was going out of bounds. Yeah, me too. So went right to Megan Little. Three ball, Megan Little, no good. A little bit too strong. Shower with the rebound. Daniels deflects it in the backcourt, but Wood picks it up. Brings it down the floor, all the way down to Williams. She drives in, no good. Fourth rebound by Brandy Jones already. Wow. Kiara goes right to the goal, and she lays it in and gets fouled by Monday. I think that one's on 12. And it is. Fouls on Caitlin Monday. And Kiara Berry, she took off. She went right at Monday and put it in a little finger roll, and that's the first points of the game. Free throw is good. That RW laundry free throw by Kiara Berry, and it's 3 to nothing. Lady Jackets lead. 5.45 to go first quarter. So that's a, outside of some throwaways. That's the first thing that's happened. Counts has it in the left corner. Dribbles all the way across court to Wood. She tried to go around Kiara. Kiara cut it off, and Jones knocked it away. Kiara on her way, coast to coast, drives in, lays it in. Five to nothing, Lady Jackets. And Kiara, she, you saw that look in her eye. They, <laughs> she split the double team right about the three-point line and just laid it in easily. Yeah, nice, nice transition. Jada Wood, oh. As uh, her foot was on the line, Megan Little's going to pick up a foul as she fouled Jada Wood on the shot. And she'll go to the line to shoot two. Olivia Tierce and Emma Hurd are going to come in for the Lady Wolverines. And it's going to be a three-point, three free throws. So as he held up two and then changed it to a three. So I thought it was a three-point attempt. So the first free throw was good. Second is no good. And now Hurd and Tierce come in as Shower and Monday have a seat for the Lady Wolverines. Same five on the floor for the Lady Jackets. Little, Barry, Jones, Evans, and Daniels. Second free throw is good. Five to two, Lady Jackets lead. Five ten to go. First quarter. Barry not at the free throw line anymore. She's out. She splits the double team, loses the ball. Brandy Jones picks it up. Gets it to Daniels over to Little. 
Daniel sets the screen. Emma Evans in the corner. Tried to hit Ambria, cutting down the lane, but it was deflected by Williams. Picked up by Counts, and then she throws it up ahead to Tears out of bounds. So good thought by Emma, but Williams with those long Emma, arms yeah, got, a, got that got a long, long reach. It, so it looks like Olivia Tears is going to pick up Barry as uh, Daniel set a screen. Williams came out on her. They left Kiera wide open for a three. She didn't take it. Emma Evans, three ball on the way. Air ball when it goes out of bounds. So, shot looked good. Just didn't hit the ring. Just off the mark. We probably had the the correct distance to just miss the run. So, we see Lady Jackets defense doing it once again so far here. Almost halfway through the first quarter. Williams, three ball. No, got it inside. And ball knocked away. Williams throws it throws to the it official to the and it's out of bounds. <laughs> He said, I don't want it. <laughs> I, he didn't even throw his hands up. He just dodged it. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. Not even close to the same color, but she yeah. turned around and that was who she wanted to give it to. Hey, Chris, I'm glad we're not where they put us the first time. Yep. We'd be right behind the cheerleaders. You need to remember that tomorrow. Yes, sir. We'll come right here tomorrow. All right. Little throws it into Barry. She's guarded by Olivia Tier. Now Megan Little has it. As Wood went for a steal, didn't get it. Daniels gives it to Bear. She sets the screen. 15-footer by Sierra, no good. Rebounded by Counts. Wood's going to bring it down. Tears has the ball. Wood thought about a deep three. Didn't shoot. Gives it up to her. Knocked away by Little. Sierra off and running. And she lays it in, 7-2. to two. And that's going to be a 30-second timeout. Dade County, Sierra Berry has all seven points, 3.33 to go, first quarter. We'll be back right after this. Our kitchen is where our life happens. It wasn't always perfect, but now it is, thanks to a home equity line of credit from family. Use the equity in your house to love your home with Family Savings Credit Union. Visit FamilySavingsCU.com. This is Ryan Robinson, branch manager of your local Family Savings Credit Union. Come by and visit us sometime, 101 Felton Drive, Rockmar, Georgia, 770-684-8601. Equal housing opportunity member NCUA, NMLS number 800746. Now more of Rockmar High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, back at Chattooga High School, Dade County. Called a 30-second timeout as Kier Barry leads Jada Woods 7-2. Wood with a three ball, no good. And rebounds run down by Williams, but she stepped on the sideline. So there's another turnover to the Lady Jackets. So Coach Clark very quickly came out of the offense he started with with Kier at the free throw line and moved her out towards the point. Megan Little, nice little pick and roll, but Kiera missed the five-footer. As Megan dished it off to Kiera, and she had the shot at the basket and just missed it. You know, we've seen Coach Clark do that throughout the year, start out one way, see how they're going to play Kiera, and then swap things up. So. Ambria Daniels, oh, almost another steal by the Lady Jackets as Ambria knocked it away from Tori Williams. Jada Wood with the ball, top of the key. Williams sets the screen, kick back to Hurd. Three ball is good, 7-5. to five. Little brings it down. Got Brandy Jones down here in the corner. Gives it up to Barry inside. And Ambria was in the corner, and she cut to the goal, thinking Kiera's going to shoot. Kiera passed it out and uh, threw it right where Ambria was. And if she hits Ambria cutting to the goal, uh, she might have a layup. Yeah. Or at least an easy easy jumper. So now Monday back in. As is shower, and it looks like Wood and uh, Counts are going to get a break. Hurd goes down the lane. No good. Rebound by Daniels. Gets it to Kiera. Oh, she almost lost it in the backcourt, but she pick, regains it. Gives it up to Megan Little, running the point now. Over to Emma Evans on the left side. To Ambria, back to Megan. Ambria sets the screen. Three ball by Little. No good. Rebound by Shower. Gives it up to Monday. Day County quickly down the floor. Counts has the ball. Has it knocked away. Steal by Megan Little. Her and Kiera one-on-one. 
with uh, uh, Thompson and a great bounce pass through the lane by Megan Little and Kiara scores again. It's nine to five. Yeah, good job right there by Little. She could have just well kept that one and shot it herself, but unselfishly gave it up to Kiara. And textbook how to run a two on one fast break right there. One bounce to the back. All the way across to Shower. Shower goes baseline. Emma cuts her off. Kicks it back to Monday inside the counts. Back to Thompson. Three ball is good. Nine to eight now. As now Coach Barr is going to get a 60 second timeout. 102 to go. First quarter. Lady Jackets lead nine to eight. We'll be back after this. Hey, Scooter, what's going on at Tilly's Home Furnishes? Big tax sale. That's right, it's the big tax sale at Tilly's Home Furnishing. What you got, Scooter? Appliances, furniture, mattresses. Don't forget, February the 14th. Tell them about it, Scooter. Holly Balance Time Stay. Buy a couch for your wife. Buy a climber. So make sure you take care of your sweetie and come and see us at 966 Cedartown Highway, Rockmark, Georgia. Tell them, Scooter, who they need to come and see. Tell his own furniture. Come see us. Ask for Scooter. Freeman Harris Funeral Home, the funeral home that has been providing a strong arm for our friends and neighbors to lean on for the past 76 years. We are proud of the young folks of our community and wish for them success on the field and off. Freeman Harris Funeral Home, Rock March very own. Now more of Rock March High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, package to Tuga High School, Lady Jackets lead 9-8, under a minute to go. First quarter, Megan Little brings it down, kicks it over to Emma Evans. Barry set up at the free throw line now as Megan Shower's on her. Brandy Jones tried to get it inside. That's a steal by Monday, and Brandy Jones was harassing her, trying to get it back. Dishes off to Thompson, and she lays it in. Bay County, first lead of the night. It's 10-9. to 9. Yeah, Brandy got to shoot that bump. And she had a wide open three they were giving to her. Gives it up to yeah, the wall. Evans, top of the key, over to Little. Little drives in, goes right to the goal, misses the shot. Evans, ball bounced off her head. Thought she had the rebound there as Counts brings it down. 13 seconds to go. Three ball by Wood, no good. Rebounded by Evans, then she lost it out of bounds. 7.7 seconds to go, first quarter. Logan Adams going to come in. So Logan comes in, and Brandy Jones is going to have a seat. Take a little breather here right here at the end of the first quarter. Wood gets it in the shower. Over to Monday, 5-4. Back to Wood in the corner. Air ball, no good. Rebounded by Count. She throws up one. That's an air ball as well. End of the first quarter. Lady, Lady Jackets lead 10-9. to nine. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Here's a real tweet from a real Chick-fil-A guest. Meredith writes, Am I the only person who didn't know Chick-fil-A had mac and cheese? Holy game changer. The secret's out now, Meredith. Is there anything you think the world should know about our mac and cheese? What I really like about the mac and cheese is the oven toasted, golden brown, cheesy top layer. It's savory, and it makes you feel really good. That does sound amazing. Thanks, Meredith. Try the mac and cheese yourself at your local Chick-fil-A. Real Chick-fil-A guests paid for their testimonial. Lewis Motor Company is the oldest car dealership in Rockmart. They have been serving Rockmart and the Polk County area for 56 years, providing quality used cars and great customer service before, during, and after the sale. Lewis Motor Company is proud to offer guaranteed credit approval while you wait. Give them a call today at 770-684-6694 or stop by and see our staff at Lewis Motor Company, 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rockmart. Now, back to the action of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. Back at Stuka High School as Day County is going to get the ball to open up the second quarter. Little, Barry, Avin, Adams, Daniels, and Evans on the floor for the Lady Jackets. Wood, Shower, Monday, Counts, and uh, Thompson on the floor for the Lady uh Lady Wolverines, that's an offensive foul on Monday. Illegal screen. And 
the horn goes off, so we're going to continue playing here. I don't know what that horn is for. Emma get, dishes inside the berry, and she turns and off the off the black backboard, right off that square, and it's good. 11 to 10, Lady Jackets back in the lead. And Kiera still has all of it. Yeah, now we've changed our defense. We've gone to a 1 2 2 with Kiera up at the top. And so now Monday's going to go out with those two personal fouls, and Hurd's going to come in as uh, Wood just threw it over the head of everybody out of bounds. Evans has it here on the right side, inside to Adam. Strength, ball goes up, blocked by Wood. She gets the loose ball, and off and running, her and Shallis. And Kiera went to block the shot, and she did, but she's going to get called for a foul. And Megan Shower goes to the line shooting two. Eleven to ten, Lady Jackets lead. Shower's first free throw is no good. Corey Williams got a break right there, and she's looking to go back in. And the free throw is good, and they didn't blow the horn to let her in on the made free throw. So we're tied at eleven. Little back to Adams over to Ambria, all the way across to Emma. Then Ambria top of the key as Megan Shower. There's a three ball by Adams. Rebound by Daniel. She scores, and she gets fouled by Emma Hurd. Now Williams is going to come in with as Ambria is going to go to the line shooting one RW laundry free throw. And that is Dade County's third personal. And we've only got two. Ambria's free throw no good. Rebounded by Thompson, and she's off and running. One on three, goes right to the goal, no good. Rebounded by Evans. Lady Jackets lead, 13-11. Little brings it down. Gives it up to Adams. Over to Evans, and then back to Logan. Two ball on the way, short. Rebounded by Barry, and she missed the shot from about six feet. Rebounded by Shower. She gives it up to Wood. Brings it down the floor. Over to to Thompson, and then there's going to be a foul on Megan Little. And I think that's her second. That is her second. So now Megan's got to be careful. 6.25 to go second quarter. Megan Little just picked up her second personal as Tears comes in for her, for Thompson. All the way in to Hurd, inside to Williams. Williams trying to make a move. Good, good job of defense by Daniel. She just held her position. Williams couldn't get the shot up over uh, Ambria's arm. Logan yeah. Adams has it. Tried to get it inside to Barry. Williams knocked it away. Gives it up to Tear. She goes. And that's going to be offensive foul. Great defense by Megan Little. And that's offensive foul on Olivia Tears. As, uh, and Megan's feeling that one right now. And she's going to go out of the game with those two personals. Brandy Jones comes back in. Probably was the perfect time for her to come out. I think she took her elbow there to the yeah. rib cage. She's all right. So give her about a three-minute breather, then she can come back, come back in. But she's got to play smart. Now, you got to know you're set up for a charge with those two persons. Three ball by Ambria. No good. Rebounded by Adams. Kick back to Jones. Down low to Evans. All the way back to Adams. Three ball on the way. No good. Rebounded by Williams. Woods is going to bring the ball down. Gets it down in the corner to shower. Three ball is good. 14-13. Dade County leads. Kiera is going to run the point now with Megan out. Megan Shower is going to be on her. And she gets double teamed. Gets it to Ambria. Top of the key. Over to Adams. Inside to Emma. Wide open. Too hard off the glass, but she gets fouled. And Emma Evans is going to go to the line shooting two. And that foul's on number 10, Olivia Tierce. So Emma will be at the line shooting two RW laundry free throws. Free up your time by taking advantage of RW's wash and fold service laundry and their clean, well-kept laundry. Emma's first free throw hits the front iron, backboard rolls around and goes down. We're tied at 14. So now Tierce has a seat as Thompson comes back in. Emma's second free throw, no good. Rebounded by Shower. So, 
Chris, we got a new book now. As we uh, used all the pages in our old one. It's a little bit different. I got to get used to where everything is. Yeah, I have to do that. Still getting familiar with it. Shower gets double teamed by Jones and Barry. Kicks it back to Thompson. Over to Williams, then to Wood. All the way across the court to Shower. Inside to Williams. Her shot high off the glass is good. 16-14, Day County. 4.50 to go, second quarter. Jerry Barry with the ball. Slowly bringing it down. Emma sets a screen. Tried to set a screen. Aubrey Huggins in the game. Three ball, air ball. And almost saved by Logan Adams, but she steps out of bounds. So now Counts comes back in as Hurd has a seat for the Lady Wolverine. So Aubrey Huggins came in, and Bria's going to get a breather. Evans and Barry still stayed on the floor the whole time. Barry with a steal behind the back dribble. She's on her way, one on four, pulls up at the free throw line. Jumper is good. We're tied at 16. Great job, Kiara Barry. Yeah, that was nice. Nice job. Like you said, one on four, she pulled up and just hit the, hit the easy jumper. So we're on that in that one two two defense. Kiara's at the top. Tori Williams, top of the key, as she throws it over the head of Counts and out of bounds. So we definitely have not played our best basketball, but we're tied at 16 with four minutes to go before halftime. So, in my opinion, playing a little bit slow. Kiara shuts in, and Aubrey and Brandy are both right there, and it goes in between them. Both, neither one of them wanted to catch it. Yep. They thought the other one was going to get yep. it. Each of them thought the other one was going to grab it. Wood brings the ball down the floor. Goes around the screen, kicks back the shower. Three ball on the way. It's good. 19-16, and I think uh, safe to say they've already hit more threes in this game than they had in the two previous games combined. Yeah, without a doubt. Barry with the ball. Kicks it back to Huggins, over to Jones. Randy Jones, three ball on the way. Air ball too far. Barry and Williams go after it. Williams muscles it away from Kiara, and she passes it up the woods. Kiara's waiting for a half court. Down to count. Over to Wood on the right side. Barry with a steal. Oh, and she loses it out of bounds. Kiara had a steal, and if she can get a handle on it, she's all by herself all the way to the goal. Wood throws it in right to shower. Down in the corner to Thompson inside the Williams. Wide open layup, 21-16, Day County. Their biggest lead of the game at five. And we got to get something going. I see Embry and Little are back waiting to be buzzed back in here. So, yeah, we're, and we're Coach Clark's going to take a 30-second timeout. 2.42 to go. Second quarter. Bay County leads 21-16. We'll be back in 30 seconds. At Century Bank of Georgia's Rock Mart office, you'll find the reassuring blend of responsive personal service with a wide array of accounts, technologies, loans, and more. And you'll find each delivered by a bank professional whose goal is to exceed your expectations of what a bank can be. We invite you to discover all we are today. Your local choice for community banking. Go Jackets. Century Bank of Georgia. Rock Mart. We want to be your bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Now more of Rock Mart High School Basketball here on WZOT. All right, back at Chattooga High School as Ambria Daniels making a little check in the game to join Brandy Jones, Kiara Berry, and Emma Evans. So still Kiara and Emma are the only two who have yet to be subbed out. Kiara dribbles to the right, gives it up to Megan. Megan drives in. Tries to dish it inside to Evans, and it goes off the knee of Counts out of bounds. So we'll have it underneath the goal. Yeah, she didn't have any other choice right there. She didn't have anybody to throw it to. So. Evans going to throw it in. as she gets it into Kiara. Over on the left side. Little tries to set a screen. Kiara goes right around Williams, down the lane, and lays it in. So she just out quick. Tori Williams is right at the free throw line. It's 21 to 18. Lady Jackets trail by three. 
Counts has it, gives it up to Thompson. She dribbles over. Barry, uh, Kiera's going to get called for a reaching foul. That's going to be her second. And that is our fourth team foul. Dade County has five. As I just realized, the scoreboard here at Chattooga has that up there. So Wood has it, top of the key. Chris checking his mouth. <laughs> I got it right in one spot and wrong in the other. Thompson all the way across the shower. Megan Little oh, picks it up. That's going to be a foul on Megan Little. Oh, and she oh. had her hand on her. Yep. That's a hand check. That's going to be our fifth, and that's Megan's third. That's, that's now. even worse. That's her third foul, and we're still minute 50 before half. So now Megan's really going to have to be careful. Dish inside the count. As Brandy Jones left her spot and left her wide open, it's 23 to 18. Sierra's going to run the point, and Megan's going to come down on the right side. Sierra goes around a screen, steps back, and Bria has it. Back to Little. As they are, they're playing the side. You can definitely see it now. You can see it down here. And Bria, two ball is good. Just in a and step that's what they're going to have to do. 23 to 20. Good shot by Ambria Daniels. Yeah, you, you could clearly see yeah. that trying with Tori Williams at the top of it as uh, she's about six foot herself. And that's going to be a foul. Let's see if they get Sierra or, or Ambria. Now they're going to get Ambria on that foul. Sierra got lucky. She reached in. But Tori Williams is going to go to the line shooting two free throws. 107 to go second quarter. And that's our sixth team foul. Free throw is no good. 23-20, Dade County leads. So, Kiara's got two personals, and Megan Little's got three as Tori Williams makes the second free throw. 107 to go before halftime. We trail 24-20. Kiara with the ball. Kicks back to Megan. Megan drives right down, and she scores, and she gets fouled. And that foul is on number two, Jada Wood. That's the 16 foul on Day County now. And Megan Little going to be at the line shooting one RW laundry free throw. And this could bring us to within one right here with 58 seconds to go. Megan's free throw is up and no good. And uh, Emma Evans going to get called for a foul as she tried to box out Tori Williams. And she's going to go to the line shooting a one and one. And Emma picks up her first foul. So it's 24-22. And we've got to make our free throws. A couple of those three-point plays would have been good, but got to make our free throws. Tori Williams, first free throw is no good. Rebounded by Ambria. 56 seconds to go. Megan brings it down quickly, dishes back to Jones, over to Daniels, then a steal by Thompson as she tried to get it to Kiera, and Kiera's going to pick up her third personal as Thompson went right at the goal, and now that's Kiera's third, Megan has three, and we're still in the first half. That's one of those where Kiera's just got to know that she's got two and let her go and hope she misses a layup anticipating uh, the contact as Thompson makes the first free throw. Jump free throw. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded by Williams as she came right around Ambria to get it. Inside the counts, over to Wood. Shower has it. Got to be careful, 35 seconds. Over to Williams, back to Wood. We're just dribbling. Holding it for one shot, I would just sit back on defense and let them have it. Oh, there's a push. Yep, that's a foul on Allie Thompson, offensive foul. We're not going to shoot, but we're going to get the ball with 23 seconds. That one was on number three, Allie Thompson. Little's going to throw it into Barry, 23 seconds to go. That's the seventh team foul on Dade County. We've got eight. But more importantly, Kiara and Megan with three apiece. Barry. Looking and got it knocked away by Shower, and she gets the steal. Wood, 10 seconds. Over to Shower, three ball. It's good. 28 22, four, three, two, 
one, Kiera, three ball way too hard. And that's the end of the first half. Lady Jackets trail 28-22. We'll be back in 60 seconds with Coach Vic Calhoun getting ready for as his boys will take on the model Blue Devils. We'll be back after this. Who has time for laundry? R&W's Laundry, the cleanest laundromat in northwest Georgia, is a full service, seven days a week laundromat with state-of-the-art washers and dryers. Don't want to wash? Let our friendly staff do it for you. Ball teams, churches, restaurants, and even wedding services are welcome to come to R&W's Laundry. Proud sponsor of Jacket Basketball, located at 804 West Elm Street, Rockmart, and Go Jackets. Your personal information is very important, and when compromised, can lead to big security issues. Don't trust your information with a here today, gone tomorrow company. Call somebody with reliability and stability in this community. Barnes Tax Service, 770-684-7556. Silver Comet Furniture, your one-stop shop for all your furniture and bedding needs. We carry brands such as Ashley, Catnapper, Liberty, and Jameson Mattress Company. At Silver Comet Furniture, 678-685-4320, 2000 Cedartown Highway in Fish Creek. You're listening to Rock Martin High School Basketball here on WZOT, 101.9 FM, AM 1220. Back at Chattooga High School, Jeff Sharp, Chris Wolf as the Lady Jackets trail 28-22 at halftime to the Lady Wolverines of Dade County. And, Chris, real quick, uh, scoring leaders for the Jackets. We know Kiera's got the majority of them. Yep, Kiera's got 15 of the 22 and uh, followed by Embria with four, Megan with two, and Emma with one. All right, we're joined by Coach Vic Calhoun, the boys' coach. As a coach, you're in the semifinal of the region tournament, have yet to play. Model coming off a uh, a win over Jordan Central 65-39 Tuesday night. And we know, uh, of course, the last game at our place was a very exciting one. We come away with a 66-65 victory. Uh, earlier in the year, December 13th, played them at Model, come away with a 61-54 victory there. Uh, Chris and I were talking, same thing we're here with the girls. Tough to beat the team three times in a year. Super tough, especially a good team. And that's what you're seeing here with the girls right now, struggling with a really good Dade County team. And, um, heck, Model's a really good team. They uh, they split with Chattooga this year, and we were fortunate enough to have some bounces go our way in both games and come back from, from big deficits and win against them. So hopefully we don't put ourselves in a hole and um, we're able to come away with another victory tonight. Well, Coach, I know uh, the, the first thing on everybody's mind is the last time we played last Friday night, uh, Duke was unable to go. The game really didn't mean a whole lot against Kusa. Kind of held him out. Uh, what, what's it? I, I know I, I texted you earlier. You know, he, he's playing. Uh, everything good to go with him. Yeah, um, he probably could have played against Kusa if that game had mattered. It didn't matter. Um, the region uh, seeding had already been taken care of top to bottom. Um, so we held him out just to give him some extra rest. And um, he was a full go the last couple of days of practice, and uh, he's looking more like himself. He's probably not 100%, but he's ready to get after it. Yeah, we saw a couple of nagging things against Model. He hurt a hand then had a little bit of a knee. and uh, So ho- hopefully, uh, you know, about a, about a week, week and a half of rest for him, he should should be good to go. Well, when you play as hard as he does uh, in football and basketball, you, you're, it's going to take a while before you're able to just fully – you know, heal of all those nagging injuries that you speak of. and uh, But, no, he's a competitor, and, and he'll play really well tonight, I'm sure of it. Well, Coach, we know uh, led by the three seniors on the team with Duke Boozer, Tyler Rowland, and Ty Floyd. As, uh, you know, you look at the scoring, those three, three of the four at the top, along with Javen Watley, the junior. Uh, but we know it's going to be tough against Model as uh, Jabari Burge had 27 the last time we played and 17 the time before that. Uh, so I'm sure you put together a good, uh, good defensive scheme to kind of, you know, you're not going to shut him down, but uh, you're going to have to control him. No, there's no way to shut a kid like Jabari down unless you have a, you know, a, a twin version of him, and, and we don't. He's six seven, probably 240 pounds, and uh, you know, the closest we got would probably be Juke at six three, 190. So he's he's quite a mismatch, uh, but you know he's going to get his and we got to limit everybody else and just we got to be pesky defenders and that's kind of what we have been preaching to our kids this week is just make catches difficult, make shot attempts difficult, make give them nothing easy and we got to push the pressure and and uh hope that that plays into our favor tonight. 
Coach, I'll tell you the biggest thing that I saw from the last time we played model, they definitely have a height advantage on us, but we have a speed and uh, I, I would guess an athletic advantage on them. And I know, like I remember you saying last time that, you know, we're hoping that we're just close going to the fourth quarter and that our speed and everything has kind of worn them down. Yeah, you know, the last four times, that's five times we've played them uh, since I've been here. That's kind of been how every game's played out. We've been down at the half. We've fought our way back in the fourth quarter, Got been within eight or ten, and have been fortunate enough to just go on runs very late in the game. And a lot of that comes with fatigue from uh, Jabari and, and Mathis and Bomber, uh, bigger guys, you know, they don't run as well. So we got to push the pace. Don't worry about the clock early. Don't worry about the scoreboard and, and just keep keep that pace up. And that, that's been good to us. So I'm hoping that we're able to do the same thing tonight. Well, Coach, we know uh, coming in, uh, field goal percentage 39-40% from, from the field overall, uh, which is a, a very good field goal percentage for your team. And we're hoping to keep that up tonight. And uh, like I said, we know being the number two seed, this is a very important win because, you know, not only do you want to beat Model, but you want to get into that championship game because no matter what happens there, you're at least hosting the first round of the playoffs. Yeah, that's right. Tonight's game is the most important. That, that means we get to host the game at home, you know, especially if our girls are able to do it. We'd be able to host a doubleheader, hopefully, at Rock Mart Friday next week. So, um, yeah, uh, got to take it one game at a time. And, um, you know, it, it's going to be a really difficult basketball game again tonight. It always is when we play model. and uh, But it'll be exciting. It'll be fun to watch, fun to coach, and uh, hopefully we come out on top. Yeah, we know every time that we have to play model, exciting game. Uh, and, and Chris and I were talking earlier, uh, strange things happened up here at Chattooga. So, hey, you never know what's going to happen in, in my uh, five years of, coming up here it doesn't matter what sport it is and something weird always happens up here <laughs> without a doubt uh, we haven't played well here i think chatuga has a lot to do with that uh, let's hope that's the case and that it's not some kind of uh some kind of curse that we have in this gym um but I, heck our for kids had probably the best last two days of practice have been some of the best we've had all year that typically translates to the basketball game and i think it will tonight well, Coach, I'm looking forward to that as, uh, you know, we've defeated them twice before. Uh, looking for that one tonight and a big win tonight. Moves us on to the championship game against Tatuga tomorrow night. Uh, so we're, we're look, definitely looking forward to that. And it, just in case you're wondering, we match up with Region 5 this year. So that's going to be the Bremen, Callaway, Heard County region over there. The one thing you don't want to be is you don't want to be that four seed having to play Spencer. No, you don't want to have to go to Spencer. They, uh, they're they averaging about 95 points a game on a year playing some really tough competition. Um, I'm good friends with Temple's coaching staff. They're here scouting. Uh, they were at our, at our game against Tusa, and that's kind of what we were talking about is the top three in their region are just as good as the top three in this region with the difference being um, – Spencer is, I mean, they're 20 points, better than everybody on paper. Obviously, anybody's got a chance in a basketball game, but their athleticism and length down there is uh, something that you don't see often at the 2A level. Well, Coach, uh, good luck, and uh, thank you for joining us here on WZOT, and we'll give you a chance as uh, we're here at the region tournament. Anybody you want to give a shout-out to for uh, that helped you get up here and uh, – just throughout the year. Well, Sissy Phillips is our bus driver just about every time we go on the road. And, um, everybody knows Sissy. She's awesome. She does our bookkeeping. And uh, there's one person I had to shout out. I'd probably have to shout her out first or not. She'd probably slap me in the back of the head. <laughs> but just the Rockmark community as a whole, I mean, ever since my wife and I moved here two years ago, we've just been nothing but supported, and we're really appreciative of that. It's a special place to be. Yeah, and you really see them, they kind of – filled in that, that side of the bleachers, uh, the side away from us. So, uh, you know, good to see everybody come out. And make sure you come out again tomorrow night because no matter what happens tonight, win or lose, both these teams will be playing again tomorrow. That's right. Yep, we got three games guaranteed counting this one. And, uh, man, I hope that we're able to get four, five, and six down and, and continue this run. This is a fun group to coach, and I hope I get to coach them as long as I can. All right, Coach. Well, thank you for joining us here at the uh, halftime of the girls' game. We're going to take 30 seconds and be right back for the second half. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. 
your thermostat breaking your wallet each month? The reason could be your home is not adequately insulated. Have the experts at TNT Insulation help put money back in your pocket. Call Tim Montgomery today at 770-684-1887 to schedule an inspection. TNT Insulation can handle all your insulation needs, and they specialize in spray foam insulation. Now back to the action of Rockbart High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, back at Tatuga High School, Rob Mark gets the ball to open up the the third quarter here as Megan Little gets it in, gets it to Brandy Jones. She tries to pass all the way across to Evans. Came up short, right back to Brandy. Inside to Ambria Daniel. She hits the bottom of the rim, gets her own rebound, gives it up to Kiara, and she shoots, comes up short. Emma picks up a loose ball, then it's taken away from her by Tori Williams on the floor. Yeah, Kiara and Megan really got to be careful here earlier in this third period. So they both have three personals as we're in that 2-3 zone now. As counts all the way across. There's a steal by Kiara Berry, and she's off and running all by herself, lays it up 28-24. So co-player of the year here in Region 7, AA. As we've got the co-region player of the year and a first-teamer in Megan Little. Counts has it down in the left-hand corner over the shower. Tries to get it in, steal by Daniel. She kicks it ahead to Little. Megan gives it up to Kiara. Kiara drives in and avoided the contact with Count. She hit the floor, missed the shot, three ball by Little, and I think that was partially blocked. Oh, they say it wasn't. Man, looked like it was partially blocked from here. But Ambria got the rebound, kicked it back to Megan, and she missed the three. So 28-24, 6.30 to go third quarter. We're just underway here in the second half. Woods going to bring it down slowly over to Monday with Williams, Shower, and Counts on the floor. Counts with it. And there's a kick ball by Kiara. Well, Almost okay. had a steal. Yeah, she hadn't yeah. kicked it. We would have had a steal. So Ambria is uh, playing Tory Williams tough inside. Wood inbounds the shower right back to Wood. Three ball, no good. And Emma pick, gets it, throws it off the leg of Williams out of bounds. As there was nobody there. Yep. And she, she was trapped in the corner, couldn't do anything. So Megan's going to throw it into Kiara. So they're having a good time. Yeah, having a conversation yeah. there. I think I've seen Kiara say, let's go. There you go. So, and that's going to be offensive foul on Ambria Daniels, illegal screen. So we see that triangle in two once again as Megan Shower is on Kiara Berry and Jada Wood is on Megan Little. And then so we're just playing. They're playing the zone down low with Tory Williams at the free throw line. Shower has it on the left side, guarded by Berry. To Monday to Wood. Evans real quick out on her. All the way over to Counts. Monday has it on the left side. Inside to Counts. Almost loses it. Shower has it. Three ball by Megan Shower. In and out, no good. Rebounded by Evan. Gets it a little. She's off and running. One on three. Gives it up to Jones. Back to Barry. Deep three by Kiara. Short. Rebounded by Williams. Well, I tell you, we're just not shooting the ball well at all. Wood has it. Brings it down. Guarded by Little. We're in that 2 3 zone. And, oh. Barry knocks it away. Daniels picks it up. Barry's off and running. Got to be careful. She comes up short, lays it in, and it's 28-26. Three minutes in, we've scored all four points here in this quarter so far. Perfect decision right there by Kiera to pull up and take a chance of missing that shot and the charge on the end take a chance of another foul. Wood goes in, gets it inside the counts. Ten-footer, short, rebounded by Evans. And then Evans throws it off the backside of counts out of bounds. She's and, doing pretty good at that. Yeah, here. that's two in a row right in front of us here. As now, Rockmar's going away from us as we're sitting in this south end zone. So, Counts is going to have a seat. Thompson comes in. And now, Shower is on Barry. And Thompson with a steal. And she's going all the way. Makes the layup. And that's Day County's first point. As Emma's got to be a little more yeah, careful with that pass. As Thompson's a little bit quicker than... Uh, Wood that was on uh, Little before three ball by Barry. She banks it in, 
Oh, they call it a two. Said her foot was on the line. 30 to 28. Wood, nobody's down there now. Man, that's a timeout. 30-second timeout, Dade County, as they left Jada Wood all alone. She had nobody to throw it in. We'll be back right after this. Get your bronze on. Visit Totally Bronze Tanning Salon at 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart to get that beautiful bronze look. Totally Bronze Tanning Salon has a very clean and cool facility with a safe, well-lit parking area. For a quick tan, they have sunless spray tanning. Call them today at 770-684-3003 for an appointment or go by 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart. Now more of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. Back at Chattooga High School, Rock Marsh outscored Day County 6-2 to two here in the third quarter, almost halfway through the quarter. Day County slows that, plays that slow brand of basketball where they just walk it up, but they're playing a triangle and two on us on defense. It looks like we've kind of solved it a little bit. Thompson throws it off the foot of Evans, or of a little. Williams had to go to the floor to pick it up. All the way over to Tierce. Tears gives it up to Wood, top of the key, over to Shower. As Day County's been knocking down a few threes, Shower goes baseline. She's cut off by Daniels, and Ambria's going to pick up a foul, and Megan Shower's going to go to the line shooting two free throws. And that's going to be Ambria's second personal. Third. Third personal, as she picked up, picked up one earlier in this quarter. Shower's free throw no good. Our second free throw is good, 31-28. Ambria throws it in, gets it to Little. We're going to let Ambria get down, get the offense set up. Emma Evans is on the left. Barry goes around, gives it to Ambria, kicks it back to Little. As Thompson's on her. Now, Pierce is on Tierra. Three ball, in and out, no good. Rebound Little. She puts up a shot, no good. But that foul is going to be on number three, Allie Thompson, and Megan Little is going to be at the line shooting two RW Laundry free throws. Use their large commercial washers and dryers at RW Laundry, 804 West Elm Street. Megan Little's first shot, no good. Thirty-one twenty-eight, three twenty-two to go, third quarter. Lady Jackets trail by three. Second free throw is good. They're leaving the door open for us, Jeff. We just got to capitalize on it at some point. Got to knock down some shots. Two-three zone. They're just content with running out as much clock. They're not going to shoot any more than they have to. Shower has it. Gives it up to Thompson. All the way over to Wood. Wood, top of the key to Thompson. Over the shower. Inside. They got it to Thompson. Three ball by Shower. Wow. That's going to be it. That's a three-pointer. It's good by Megan Shower. And Bria Daniels slung uh, Olivia Tierce out of the way, get, going for the rebound. It's just the shot and the foul, right? Yeah. It's not it's a shooting a, foul. Why they... No. It's, the three-pointer is going to be good. Right. And Bria's going to pick up her fourth foul, and then it's going to be Day County's That's ball on the baseline. Yeah. Trying to figure out why they looked like they were trying to line up on the for a free throw there. So now Cammy Counts comes back in as Tears has a seat, and now Ambria's going to have to come out as Logan Adams comes in. Get it over to Thompson. Steal by Barry. Her and Little. One-on-one -on -one with Shower. Barry passes to Little. Little misses the shot. Barry with the foot, with the uh, rebound. Puts the shot up. No good. Gets her own rebound and gets fouled. That foul is going to be on 22, Tory Williams. That's the second team foul this quarter for Day County. Barry's at the line shooting two RW laundry free throws. That first one is good. 34 to 30. Logan Adams comes in. And Bria Daniels has a seat with four. 2.40 to go, third quarter. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded 
by Town. She gives it up to Wood, 34 to 30. Lady Wolverines still lead. We have cut into that lead. They had a six-point lead at half. Counts with the ball, gives it up to Wood. Still in that 2-3 zone. Now Adams forces Thompson to go baseline, cut off by Evans. She misses the shot. And then Emma got the rebound. Barry drives in, and she banks it in. 34-32. Lady Jackets now trail by two. Yeah, we can get there. We just got to two minutes to go. Get ahead of them. Yeah. Inside the counts, Evans cut her off, and then Emma lost the rebound off her foot out of bounds. 150 to go. 34-32. Dade County leads. Wood looking to throw it in and finally gets it in the shower. Good thing. 22 was standing here by herself begging for the ball. Deflected by Barry. She's got to steal a half court. Going right at Thompson. Spin move. And she scores. And she's fouled. That foul is going to go on number 13, Megan Shower. Kiara scores to tie it up. And she's got one RW laundry free throw. 139 to go third quarter. Big one here. Free throw is good. 35-34. Caitlin Monday is going to come in as Allie Thompson goes out for the Lady Wolverines. One thirty-five to go before half. Over the shower on that right, on the left side. Wood has it down in the corner. She dribbles back out. Emma Evans, Tori Williams pushing inside. Wood goes around, and that's going to be a foul on Cammie Counts as she went over the back of Logan Adams for the rebound. Good box out by Logan. See, we're having a tough time playing defense, and, you know, we've got so many in foul trouble. We're, we're just kind of having to play very soft right now. 60-second timeout by Coach Clark. That's his third of the game. He's got two remaining. So, uh, I'll tell you what, Brian, 30 seconds. We'll be right back. WZOT Rockmark, W270CE Rome. By Low True Value, 308 Nathan Dean Parkway in Rockmart invites you to come by and watch the inventory grow every day. We're the home of the Garrett Brothers Sawmill. Our family has been processing and selling our country's greatest renewable resources for over 100 years. Like us on Facebook or give us a call at 770 684 5075. You're listening to Rock Martin High School Basketball here on WZOT, 101.9 FM, AM 1220. All right, back at Chattooga High School, Jeff Shark, Chris Wolf, Lady Jackets have just taken a 35-34 lead on a Kiara Berry free throw, and we're going to have the ball as uh, mm-hmm. the foul was now. just called on Day County, and uh, we were down six at the half in this third quarter which the second half is usually our strongest, and we have uh, outscored on 13-8. Uh, to eight. Mary with the ball over to Logan Adams. Tried to get it inside to Jones, stolen by Count. Now Monday brings it down. There's a steal by Barry. One minute to go. Behind the back dribble at half court. She comes down, pulls over the free throw line. It's good. 37-34, Lady Jackets lead. Do what you do, 2 one. She did pull it up right at the free throw line and knocked down that jumper. Megan Shower has it. Lady Jackets with the lead. Monday got away with a walk right there. She shuffled her feet. Wood has it all the way over to Shower. Tried to get it inside the count, so Emma Evans, good defense, knocked it out of bounds. 34.7 seconds to go. Wood's going to throw it in. And, oh, they left Williams alone again. Brandy Jones went out. And that's an air ball as Jones and Williams fight for it. They get it into Williams and air ball for a two-footer. And Count saves it right to Megan Little. And now we're off and running 20 seconds to go. Spin move at half court. And that's a foul on Tori Williams as she is frustrated. You can see her yeah. frustration here as Brandy Jones went out to the corner and left her wide open by herself. Yeah, but she was frustrated, and then when she did get the ball, she just 
Pushed it right back up into the goal. All the way out to Logan Adams. Back to Megan. She drives in. Cut off by Wood. And then that's going to be a foul. And that was going to be on Jada Wood. That's the 16th foul on Day County. We'll be in the bonus the remainder of the game. That is good for us. 10.7 seconds to go third quarter. Chris, we talked about it at the break. Kiara and Megan have yet to pick up a foul. Two ball by Barry. No good. Rebounded by Williams. Six seconds to go. Really quickly down the floor. Got to cut the ball off. Three ball on the way. It's good. And we're going to be tied at the end of the third quarter. Nobody picked up the ball and left it wide open. 37-37. End of three. We'll be back in 60 seconds. What kind of cake will they serve at your retirement party? Chocolate? Red velvet? Well, go ahead and call the bakery. Because whether you plan to retire in 15 years or 50, a State Farm agent can help you take charge of your retirement and help make it seem like, well, a piece of cake. Sherman Rawls State Farm Insurance, 122 East Elm Street in Rockmart. Call 770-684-3500. Email him at sherman at shermanross.net. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Neither State Farm nor its agents provide tax, legal, or investment advice. Consult your own advisor regarding your particular circumstances. Hey, Scooter, what's going on at Tilly's Home Furnishes? Big tax sale. That's right. It's the big tax sale at Tilly's Home Furnishing. What you got, Scooter? Appliances, furniture, mattresses. Don't forget, February the 14th. Tell them about it, Scooter. Holly Balance Time Stay. Buy a couch for your wife. Buy a climber. So make sure you take care of your sweetie and come and see us at 966 Cedartown Highway, Rockmart, Georgia. Tell them, Scooter, who they need to come and see. Tell his own function. Come see us. Ask the Scooter. All right, back to Cougar High School. Start of the fourth quarter. Day County's going to get the ball to open up. As it's tied 37-37, we're down six at that half. Outscored on 15 to 9. Monday has it. Top of the key inside to Williams. Over the count. Three ball from the corner. No good. And Shower knocks it away from Jones. Picked up by Williams. She gets it to Wood. Over to Monday. Inside the Woods. That's a traveling violation as she took a little hop there. And that's a walk. What are we waiting on? Oh. Waiting on the official to get in position. Had two on the baseline down there. Barry brings it across half court. Showers on her. All the way over to Jones. Emma Evans down low by herself. Missed the two-footer. Dang. Rebounded by Counts. Emma had a wide open shot. Great pass by Brandy Jones to get it inside. Adams on Counts. Gives it up to Monday. In the woods. Top of the key. Inside to Williams. And Emma's going to pick up a foul as Tory Williams went right to the goal. That's our fourth team foul. And Tory Williams is going to be at the line shooting two. And that is Emma's second, third team foul. Third foul. Personal foul. Second. Second. Sorry. My hands were <laughs> saying one thing and my mind another. Williams makes the free throw. So Adams, Little, Barry. Evans and Jones on the floor for the Lady Jackets. Williams' second free throw is good. Shower counts Wood. Williams and Monday on the floor for the Lady Wolverines. Megan Little brings it down. Three ball on the way by Megan. No good. Long rebound. Dade County just lets it go out of bounds. Be good if Megan could get hot here in this uh, no, fourth quarter. Bounce. As Ambria Daniels comes back in, Emma Evans is going to take a break, and I think that's her first break of the game. 6.50 to go. Ambria's got to be careful with four fouls, though. Wood inside to Williams, back to Wood. Three ball by Monday is no good. Rebounded by Williams, and she walked. Yep, she walked before she went back up. Ambria was going to get a foul if they didn't call a travel because she went to – Try and block the shot and got all on. So good call by the official right here in front of us. So now we see Day County still in that triangle in two. Little has it. Daniels trying to set a screen. Little drives in on Williams. 
That's going to be a blocking foul on Tory Williams. That's going to be a one-and-one, one, Megan Little going to the line to shoot R.W. Laundry free throw. And that's Williams' third personal as Monday's going to go out and Thompson comes in. And I'll tell you what, number three, Allie Thompson, looks like she might be the quickest one she out there. She is very quick. Now, we got to make our free throws. We're in the bonus the remainder of the game. First free throw, no good. Rebounded by Count. Megan just has not had the touch tonight. Not from the three-point range and not from the free throw line. Shower has it. Day County with a two-point lead. Wood with the ball. Kiara's on her. Now Kiara and Megan, can, they've extended that 2-3 zone out some. And they can be a little bit yeah, a little more aggressive. Thompson with the ball out to Wood. Shower with it. Williams right at the free throw line as Ambria's right behind her. Out to Counts. And they're just throwing it around. They get it inside to Thompson. And she misses the shot. Perry has it. And she picks up a loose ball, knocked away by Thompson. Megan Little picks it up, and then it's deflected out of bounds by Dave County, and it'll be our ball. Little gets it into Barry. Shower is on her. Ambria trying to set a screen. You got to be careful, Ambria. Over to Adams. She gets it inside the Jones jumper. No good. And Ambria tried to box out Williams, but Williams gets the rebound and brings it down. Adams cuts her off. Over to Wood. Back to uh, Thompson. Over to Shower on the left side. Now Wood's going to set it up. Yeah, Five minutes set to it go. Up again and keep that clock moving. So we just need a Megan or a Sierra steal of one of those passes there. And get it into Williams, and that's going to be Ambria's fifth. Yeah. She's done. So, yep. As uh, Tori Williams just kind of uh, boxed her out, and Ambria tried to go through her. So, Emma Evans is going to come in, and Ambria Daniels fouls out with 4.47 to go. And we have yet to score in this fourth quarter, but Day County's only scored two themselves. So, now they get it into Williams. Jones knocks it away, steal by Evans. Now, Barry has it, and she's off and running. Pull up, jumper. No good. Little fights for it. Gets the rebound. Puts up a shot. No good. But that's going to be a foul on Tata Wood. That is her third personal. The 18 foul. But Megan Little is going to be at the line shooting two RW laundry free throws. Come on, Megan. Megan's one for three on the night from the free throw line. And these are two big ones right here. This can get us back tied. First free throw is good. R.W. Laundry Free Throw. Free up your time by taking advantage of R.W.'s wash and fold service laundry and their clean, well-kept laundry at 804 West Elm Street. Second free throw is up and good. We're tied at 39. 436 to go in the game. The winner of this game moves on to the championship game against Tatuga tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. The loser will play Gordon Central at 4 o'clock in the consolation game. Steal by Barry. Her and Little, they're off and running. Barry gets it ahead to Little. She lays it in, and we got the lead, 41-39. But, hate to say I called it, but that's what we needed. Oh, yeah, that's what we got to have. Shower with the ball. Now Dave County trails by two. Now you can run all the time you want. Yes, please. <laughs> Just don't knock down a three here. <laughs> Wood with the ball. Now the Rockmark crowd picking things up now. Inside the Williams. Back out the Wood. Three ball is no good. And Logan Adams knocks it off of four of counts. Oh, oh. Oh, he hit off the leg of counts. Oh, right here in front of us. Man. Logan Adams threw it right off of counts' leg, but they gave it to Dade County under their own goal. Get it into Monday. Top of the key to shower all the way over to Wood. Oh, she almost traveled right there. Wood over to shower. Back to Wood. And there's a deflection by Barry, but Williams picks it up. Now Wood tries to make a move, kicks it back to shower. Three ball on the way. It's good. 42 
41. Day County leads. Harry with the ball. Drives in, goes right in. And that's going to be a block on count. Kiara Bear is going to the line to shoot a one and one. Unless they say she's shooting. And it is going to be two shots. I was going to say they, they ought to give it to her because they gave them a questionable one down here earlier in the, in the first half. Now Kiara's at the line shooting two RW laundry free throws. She misses the first. Need to make this one. This one will put it at a tie. Second free throw is good. We're tied at 42. 313 to go in this uh, Region 7 AA semifinal. Wood with the ball. Do not leave Megan Shower open, Please. number 13. I'm over think. in a corner somewhere. Yeah, I she's promise. come to this corner in front of us. Over to Monday. Williams has it. Free throw line short. Rebounded by Jones. Good job right there by Logan Adams. And get position and get yep. that one to Jones. Mary has the ball. Shower's going to jump out on it. Mary goes around Shower. Jumper, no good. Rebounded by Jones. Puts up a shot. Hey, good. 44-42. Lady Jackets lead. 240 to go. That's a good time to get your first points of the game right there, young lady. Yeah, great job of defense. Or great job of rebounding and get it in. Williams has it. Goes around Evans, and she scores. We're tied at 44. Day County's going to get a timeout, and it's going to be a 60-second timeout. 227 to go. We're tied at 44. Hi, folks. This is your old buddy Bill Sherpsey, GM of All-Star Motors Rock Mart. It's that time. It's tax time. The friendly staff at All Star is ready and willing to serve you. Good, bad, or even no credit, no problem. Your job is your credit. We do offer guaranteed credit approval. Check out our online credit approval at www.allstarmotorco.com. We even have an on-site insurance agent. We're not just your run-of-the-mill fly-by-night dealership. We're All Star Motors, where every day is an all-star day. Remember, we have that unforgettable number, 770-684-CARS. I'm Barry Williams, Athletic Director at Rockmore High School, and I would like to thank our Booster Club, sponsors, and community for supporting Rockmore High School Athletics. Go Jackets. Back at Chattooga High School. We're tied at 44. Rockmore has the ball. Logan Adams going to inbounds to Barry. And Lincoln Shower waiting top of the key for Barry to come across half court. Jada Wood is on Megan Little. The rest is a triangle with uh, Williams counts and Monday. Barry with the ball. Over to Adams. They try to get it inside to Evans. If Williams gets a steal, that's going to be a foul on Emma Evans. That's only the 16 foul, so they're not shooting, but that is Emma's third. And Kiara Berry and Megan Lewis have played the whole second half with three fouls. Yeah, they have, and unfortunately, Emma Lewis fouled out. That's, that's big right now. Now, Dade County will be in the bonus remainder of the game, but anything for us is two shots. They get it in to counts out to Monday. Three ball, no good. Rebounded by Jones. Brandy gives it up to Megan. It's tied. 150 to go. Megan tries to move on Wood. Gives it up to Adams. Three ball on the way. Too strong. Rebounded by Jones. She's got to have 12 rebounds. She tried to get it into Adams. Still by Williams. Megan Little sets up. That's a charge on Jada Wood. Good defense by Megan Little. That is Jada Woods' fourth, and we're going to have the ball 138 to go. Good defense by Megan Little. She set her feet, and Wood just ran right over it. Now. They crowd not have it with that stone. Barry with the ball. This is off. Brandy Jones, three ball on the way. No good. And, wow. Who Logan was that? Just took one. Logan Adams just took an elbow from Tori Williams. And she's got some tears, not tears in her eyes, but her eyes. Un- un- unintentional, yeah. yeah, tears. Williams gives it up to Wood. We're tied 110 to go in the game. And Monday that. coming around. Jones hops out. Ooh. Evans, oh, almost a steal as she tried to knock it away from Williams. We're down to one minute. Well, it's getting physical underneath here. Evans and Williams, they've been battling all night. As they ball is picked, picked up by a little. She tried to get it in. Williams hits the floor. Barry comes out of nowhere. That's a foul. Or Caitlin Monday. 
And Kiara Berry is going to be at the line shooting two RW Laundry free throws. Getting a little excited there, Jeff. Thanks for keeping me grounded. Uh, it was a hard one in the right here in front of <laughs> So they got it. I'll tell you what, this three-man crew, they've they done a pretty good job. job. Yeah. Pretty good. Probably one of the best jobs I've seen all year. First free throw, no good. Wow. That one was way off. Kiara with another RW Laundry free throw. We're tied at 44. 49 seconds to go. That free throw is good. We lead 45-44, and Coach Carr is going to have a timeout. He can do either one, a 60 or a 30. He and he's going to do a 30-second timeout. He changed it. 30-second oh, change. timeout. Okay. We'll be right back. Our kitchen is where our life happens. It wasn't always perfect, but now it is, thanks to a home equity line of credit from family. Use the equity in your house to love your home with Family Savings Credit Union. Visit FamilySavingsCU.com. This is Ryan Robinson, branch manager of your local Family Savings Credit Union. Come by and visit us sometime, 101 Felton Drive, Rock Mart, Georgia, 770-684-8601. Equal housing opportunity, member NCUA, NMLS number 800746. Now more of Rock Mart High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, we're back at the Cougar. Rock Mart's going to put a little pressure on in the backcourt. They get it into Wood, Barry's on her, and he changes up. And Wood throws it to absolutely nobody. As the guy in the Chattooga shirt all the way up here by us catches it. Now Bay County is going to set up in the press. We've got a one-point lead. Got to get the ball in as we get it into Megan. She gets double team, goes over through the double team, dribbles across half court, gets it to Jones. Jones drives in, and she is fouled by Tori Williams. And Brandy Jones is going to go to the line shooting two. And that is four on Williams now. Well, unfortunately, Brandy didn't realize Pierre was right there with her. She could have dished it off to her. But, hey, we'll take the foul shots right here. Brandy Jones shooting two RW laundry free throws. That first one no good off the back of the rim. 35.3 seconds. We lead by one. Big free throw right here from Brandy. Caitlin Monday coming all the way down here in this corner to set up. Logan Allen's coming back. No good. And there's Jada Wood gets it. That's going to be a foul on Brandy Jones. And Wood's going to be at the line shooting a one and one. Brandy a little bit upset. Not making those two free throws. Now Wood's at the line to shoot one and one. We lead by one. Now it's going to, it's definitely going to come down to free throws as we have missed a good bit tonight. 32 seconds. Woods, free throw, no good, rebounded by Barry. Now she's off and running, and she goes right around. There's going to be a foul on Shower, as it's before the shot. Before the shot, Megan Shower with the with the foul, but Kiara's going to be at the line shooting two huge RW laundry free throws. Very big right here. No one fades dangerous with that three point. These are very huge. Got to, really got to make these two. She made one last time. First free throw is no good. Back iron. 45-44. We lead. 27.5 seconds to go in the game. That struggles at the line continue. Second free throw. No good. Rebound by Wood. She's off and running. And gives it up to Monday. Gives it to Wood, 20 seconds. They're going one shot, Jeff. They're going to try to win it with one shot. Wood has it. Evans, we're in a man. And timeout, Dade County, 14.7 seconds. Dade will have it on the side. 30 seconds. We'll be right back. Lewis Motor Company is the oldest car dealership in Rockmart. They have been serving Rockmart and the Polk County area for 56 years, providing quality used cars and great customer service before, during, and after the sale. Lewis Motor Company is proud to offer guaranteed credit approval while you wait. Give them a call today at 770-684-6694 or stop by and see our staff at Lewis Motor Company, 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rockmart. Now more of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, back at Chattooga High School, Jeff Sharp, Chris Wolf, 45-44, Lady Jackets lead. 14.7 seconds to go in this Region 7 AA semifinal. 
as the winner will advance to the 7 o'clock championship game against the Chattooga Lady Indians, and the loser will play at 4 o'clock against the Gordon Central Lady Warriors as Chattooga defeated Gordon Central 58-55 in the game earlier today. I want to remind you to stick around right after this. The boys will take on the model Blue Devils. And this has been an exciting Man, game, and I'm sure that, that one will be as well. Dade County to get it in. Wood trying to get it in. Finally does to Monday. D3 on the way. No good. Rebounded by Little. She gives it to Barry. Back it, Nine, back it out. eight, seven. And they're going to try and foul Barry. And I don't know what. And they did get a foul. That's going to be on 13. Megan Shower. That's the third one. Now, Kiara, 5.7 seconds. She's shooting two. Two huge RW laundry free throws. 804 West Elm Street. Come on, Kiara. That first shot is good. Ice in that young lady's veins as she was five of nine from the line coming into this. This one right here is a big one. 46-44. We need this one. The worst thing that can happen is a tie. Shot is up and good. 47-44. And Coach Clark's going to take a 60-second timeout. We'll be right back. Who has time for laundry? R&W's Laundry, the cleanest laundromat in Northwest Georgia, is a full service, seven days a week, laundromat with state-of-the-art washers and dryers. Don't want to wash? Let our friendly staff do it for you. Ball teams, churches, restaurants, and even wedding services are welcome to come to R&W's Laundry. Proud sponsor of Jacket Basketball, located at 804 West Elm Street, Rocket Mart, and Go Jackets. At Century Bank of Georgia's Rock Mart office, you'll find the reassuring blend of responsive personal service with a wide array of accounts, technologies, loans, and more. And you'll find each delivered by a bank professional whose goal is to exceed your expectations of what a bank can be. We invite you to discover all we are today. Your local choice for community banking. Go Jackets. Century Bank of Georgia. Rock Mart. We want to be your bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Now back to the action of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. And we're back at Chattoo High School. Good timing, Brian, as you counted down right with the uh, timeout clock. clock. All right, Day County's going to get it in. We're going to pressure them in the backcourt. Randy Jones is on the ball. And, hey, Chris, this wouldn't be bad as you foul. Adams almost would still get to the Monday. Over her foot was on the line as it's in and out. No good. And the car goes off. And that's the game. The Lady Jackets win. Wow, a big shot by Emma Hurd. It rolled around the cylinder and came out. And the Lady Jackets come away with a win. 47-44 over the Lady Wolverines of Day County. And wow, what a game. Wow, what a game. I cannot believe. But her foot was on the line. If he's looking... That was only a two, two. anyway. Woo! But wow. that, that ball was in, around the bowl, and wow. just fortunately came back out on that final turn around the bowl. All right, Brian, we're going to take 60 seconds and come back and uh, let Chris that, tally everything up real quick, and uh, we'll close out this girls' game as they are announcing the all-region for these two teams. So we'll be back in 60 seconds. <laughs> 